Hello everybody. Welcome to Miss Enjoy's Spiritual Life Advice Channel and I am Miss Enjoy. I am here today to do your Scorpio Love and Soulmate Connection Reading for April 1st through the 7th, 2019. Hello Scorpios. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Scorpio's got that stain. Once they sting you, it's over for you. You in there. I <clears throat> read for love. I am a loving kind of lady. So if you are single, this reading is not for you. If you are in connection with your person, you know who your person is. Even if you may be physically separated, but that's your person. You claim each other. That's your husband, your wife, your soulmate, your boo thing. Then this reading is for you. My readings are also gender fluid. There are lots of wonderful same-sex relationships out there. So if you're a male with a feminine energy or a female with a masculine energy, then take it how you like it. Um, I do not read reversals here. I use many different decks to clarify during my readings. So all my cards are read in the upright. If I have any questions about what the specific meaning of a card means, I simply grab another deck and clarify those specific cards. I do not tell you who you are dealing with. I will not sit here and tell you you are dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn because everyone may not know the Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus of their partner and it may be one of those planet placements and that can confuse you and throw you off because not everybody is in the know about those things. Most people don't even know their own. Um, actually, I'm going to post a link somewhere in my video descriptions of where you can get that information if you don't want to go through me to get it because I also do those as well and if you order a private reading with me that's something that comes automatically I will tell you during that reading because I will have done that research on you and your person before we even start your reading so that's something that kind of comes automatically if you get a personal reading with me um, <clears throat> I do not if I do not resonate with you then you know there are lots of other readers up here on YouTube, wonderful, wonderful light workers and here, read, here to read for you. And I turn to some of them in my time of need as well. So if my message is not for you, you just don't know who in the world I'm talking about, feel free to look around. Find somebody else's message that may be the message for you. And also, always be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. For instance, if your Venus is in Taurus, which is where mine is, sometimes I listen to Taurus if I listen to an Aries message that does not particularly resonate with me. I do, in fact, do private readings. All that information is in the page description and as well as in the description of each video. So, let's get started. The other thing I don't do here, and I forgot to put it on my, I have like a little index card that I read my intro from. So, um... Oh, oh, oh. The other thing I don't do here is I don't do an outcome because I read for love. And when you're reading for love in all matters of love, you know that's in the hands of the person whose heart is, is in your hands. Because you can't tell a person who's in love what to do or what not to do. All you can give, give them is the facts and allow them to go with that. And you also have to take control of your own situation. Just because a reader or a reading tells you that things aren't looking good, you have complete free will over certain situations. Sometimes the universe, the divine, will step in and remove someone from your life. This is why we have a lot of tower moments at times. But those things are out of control and they're destined. So... But if you can work it out, and you want to work it out, and that's up to you. So I do not do an outcome, because the outcome is up to you. Follow your heart, or your mind, because sometimes, or a good combination of the two, I like to think that a good healthy balance of heart and mind is wonderful. So I do not do a Celtic cross or any set kind of, um, of spread. What I do is the first row that I lay out will be the overall the overall situation of the relationship. The second row will be the masculine energy. And the third row will be the feminine energy. And then we'll go on and clarify from there. We'll see what kind of message Spirit is going to deliver. And Spirit, thank you for being here with us today. Spirit, angels, guardians, ancestors, gods and goddesses. Please be with us today. Deliver a message for Virgo. For love and soul connections, April 1st through the 7th. God does give us a good, strong message. A good, positive, loving, caring message. 
if I feel it's necessary, ooh, we're going to take, oh, great, uh, the moon card popped out. So we're going to take that as the overall energy. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It just could mean, you know, some things are being done. Um, somebody's got to move on the low right now, possibly something is being done under the moonlight. Could be a secretive situation. All right. So we've got the hangman. The nine of cups. And the queen of wands. That is the overall, speaking to the overall situation of the relationship. Queen's been out in my readings a lot. Um, for the masculine energies, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Hmm. And for the feminine energy, well, she's happy. We've got the Ten of Cups, but the Four of Swords. And the Page of Swords. Okay. Take a look at your situation here. You know what? I don't have enough light. My light isn't. My lighting isn't. My, my light's not on. I hope you guys can even see this. Forgot to turn on my overhead. That helps a little. It's not really much difference if it's a little brighter. Okay, I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> You're my first video of the day today. I tried to originally do this video last night and I pretty much am seeing a lot of the same situations. Well, Yeah, there's some secrets going on. There's some secrets going on because we have the the Ten of Cups down here for the for the feminine energy and the Four of Swords. And then we've got the Page of Swords at the end of the so possibly what I'm thinking and not possibly. The message that I'm getting is whoever's message this is, whoever this is for the feminine in the situation may be a little younger or naive when it comes to relationships or not even that you know sometimes you get digmatized <laughs> i think it was zane that i heard come up with that or say that several times on her page that you know you get digmatized and you're just you're sleeping you're sleeping under these swords so you're sleeping on something because you did the you we got the page of swords at the end, so I'm I mean, but you're happy. I mean I'm not to you know, I hope you understand what I'm saying here. You know, sometimes ignorance is bliss, which you don't know supposedly people assume it won't hurt you, but it will. Because then up here I've got the the eight for the masculine energy here, I've got the eight of pentacles, the king of cups, and the three of cups. So, to me, this indicates that there is indeed a third party situation. Now, this may not be, it, it seems like, you know, he's working hard, he's abundant, he's he's putting, he's making progress, he's showing good work, he's, his pockets are all right, you're doing okay, doing okay financially. But what this says to me, and you know what, I had a sim. Maybe you're dealing with Scorpio if you're if you're dating a Virgo, possibly. And you know I don't pull energies from the cards, but Virgo's reading had the masculine energy in a very same in in the same situation. It seems like you know he wants he he's 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 working hard. He's got a good job. Looks like he you, you guys are doing well financially. He is financially stable not overabundant which is why this may be a dangerous situation but um <clears throat> i want to say that he's he's giving too much to outside there's a third party 
There's a third party going on here. But this is but this is cups. So this is feelings. This is emotions. And according to the hangman, so <clears throat> But then up here you have the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So, really what I'm seeing, let me get some clarification. Let me get some clarification. Spirit, tell me more about the hangman in this position. For this, this soulmate connection for Scorpio. Scorpio, April 1st through the 7th. I've got two cards. Oh, yeah. The Three of Swords and the Six of Pentacles came out here. We've got the Three of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So, let me slide these. Need a little room to work here. So, uh... Yeah, there's been some there's there's been some heartbreak in this situation. You know, we've got the nine of cups here and we've got the Queen of Wands at the end. Hmm. Clarify Queen of Wands for me. Tell me more about who this Queen of Wands is or represents. Because I'm I'm really feeling that this is representative of an individual. And I don't know if this is you. feminine or if this is someone else I'll take those I've got the ace of swords and the wheel of the year so We've we've got a cycle that's coming to the end to an end here, and I'm I'm really thinking that. Let, let me get some more clarification because this is not clarify the three of cups for me, spirit. Clarify the three of cups for me. Should I just keep the ones that are in my hand? <laughs> All right, Spirit, I understand, I understand. Okay, well, you did send two this way. We'll take this too. Once again, we've got the Hangman, and we've got the Four of Cups. Yeah, there is some kind of third-party situation. I got the same message, basically, and then it was different cards. I originally tried to do Scorpio's reading. Did I say this in the beginning? I tried to do your reading last night, and I ran out of storage space, and I just decided, I left the cards sitting there, and I just decided... Instead of picking up from where I was, that I was going to start over. And I'm still getting the same message here. Let me clarify. Clarify this four of swords for me. Actually. Clarify the king of cups for me. Clarify the king of cups for me, spirit, please. Clarification on the king of cups for me, please, spirit. Spirit is telling me here. We got the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Yeah. So there's two situations here. Alright, so we've got... The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. And actually this is for the Seven of Pentacles. And then we've got the Four of Pentacles and the Lovers. Yeah, so... There's a decision to be made, and you know, honestly, because we've got the Page of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Lovers. So, 
what I'm getting from this is that, you know, and we've got the seven of pentacles here and the, the ten of, so, I mean, you're happy, but I'm really seeing that you may be feminine. You've been hurt in this situation. Masculine has been sharing himself, his abundance, his emotions, because it's all here. That's all here with the King of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. And then we've got the Three of Cups, the Hangman, the Four of Cups. And then down here you have the Page of Pen Four of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and then the Lover's card. So you're tired of this particular situation, whoever's message this is. You are very tired of this situation. Um, masculine's got, you've been hurt. You've been hurt. There are possible children in another situation. He's torn. Give the hanged man. Uh, but I mean, he's chilling. He thinks he's got it under control. But you're, 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 and, and you're acting like you're happy about it. Why is the ten of, <laughs> I've never had to ask why the ten of cups is, the cups is here. But, <laughs> and you're somewhat satisfied. So you're. And then I get the Ten of Pentacles. Because he got that money. The Queen, I mean the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, the, the, I'm sorry. The, the Six of... Yeah. We've, I mean, we've got... We've got the... So... Or you are fine. You're stable. Whatever it is. You're happy with your situation. You're, you're, you're stable here. You're stable, and you may have a boo thing on this. I'm, I don't mean to call, and if there's cross watchers watching, and Scorpio, this is you, this is what, you're this feminine energy. Well, both of you. It looks like everybody's got their shit going on. Hey, hey. My grandma used to say all the time, if you like it, I love it. I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to tell you what I see. But it looks to me <laughs> like... There's been some hurt and pain in the past. And maybe y'all are doing the poly thing because that is very popular now where people are just, they're having open relationships or they're saying we're coming from this place of pain and we don't want to do that anymore. But he's been out here. There's definitely a third party going on with your masculine. And it doesn't look like there's actually a third party, but it looks like she is torn here with the four of pentacles. My feminine is torn because this page of swords, we're. Or you're just happy with the situation or you feel like, you know, it's a prosperous situation. You're happy. Boys will be boys. They will play. But I'm saying that he knows you're his, his queen. He knows you're his queen. And maybe he's trying to wrap this up. He's not trying to do this anymore. There's been hurt and pain. But he's really not happy about it. He knows it's going it, to... He's, he's, he's weighing his options here. What movement? What, what is... What is masculine going to do about this situation? What movement is he going to take? Oh, okay. Well, he's he's moving toward asking you. This is a marriage card, honey. Here we go. Four of wands. There we go. So he's gonna he's stepping up. He's stepping up. He's trying to wrap this up. He he's been a playboy. He's a little pouty about the fact that he's gonna have to give up his play of play ways. But all in all, he's coming. Let me get one more clarification for that. Yeah, and we got the lover's card down here. Yeah, so congratulations, Scorpio. He's coming with that offer. Oops. Yeah, he's going to end up... Yeah, he's afraid that he's going to end up feeling trapped. He's, gonna, he's afraid that he's going to end up feeling trapped. Let me get one more. But at the end of the day, he's going to be he's going to be satisfied. You're both going to be satisfied. We've got two, the seven of pentacles here, 
So, yeah. I mean, congratulations then, Scorpio. Congratulations. You you had a lot of pain going on, you know, but you've come to your happy place. You you reached that emotional connection, that, that nine of cups. You're almost there. He knows you're his queen of wands. He knows that. And he's trying to wrap this up. He's trying to end this cycle. This pain is in the past. Put this behind you. Put this behind you. Whatever he's done. And yes, he's still working on it. Know that he's working. You got the Eight of Pentacles here. He's working on it. He's working on everything that. And yes, he's the King of Cups. You got the Ten of Wands here. So he's been dealing with a lot. And, you know, <clears throat> maybe there were some issues in the past where he still had to lend his attention. Or he had to really wrap up some things from the past because there was at some point some third party and you know what this may not have even been another another woman romantically this may have been some family members or some friends that i'm really getting that were telling him no don't do this don't do this but i mean you have to stop being you got to grow up and get out of your head here get out of your head you're not going to be trapped you're going to be fruitful you're going to be fruitful. And congratulations, you're going to get married. You go to the chapel and you love you.